Hey guys, Chris here. I should have done this in the first place. So I picked up one of these little DC power analyzers for about 16 bucks and incorporated it into my gizmo box. Hot glued it to the faceplate there. And then I cut a little rectangular for the display. All right, so now I'm testing. Now keep in mind that these power analyzers only work one way. On the source side is when they're gonna read watts and amps. So I had to do a little reconfiguring here with my solar panel in solar charger in order for it to read what is coming or going into the battery from the solar charger. So what I had to do was rig up a 12 volt jumper on one of the 12 volt power outlets and connect that to the truck's 12 volt electrical system, the battery. The bottom wire here is connected to the source on the power analyzer, which is now connected to the solar charger. I'm not getting that great a sun today, so at least I'm getting something I can show you. Right on this configuration, the source is now the battery. Okay, so I'm pulling energy from the truck, and I'm also got the charger plugged in. And as you can see, it's not reading anything, even though you know I'm probably getting about five or six watts. So what I did is I hooked up my 12 volt utility light spotlight. There you have it. The solar charger is still indicating that it's charging, but it's not going to be red on the power analyzer. Man, lots of good uses for this gizmo box, especially when you're working with solar. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.